What's up, tennis players? In today's video, I'm gonna show you something Nick Kyrgios does with his grips that you might wanna think about trying. It could help you with your tennis game. I'm also gonna show you a drill you can do with a friend that can help you get it a little faster. Actually, many of the top pros who play with semi-Western and more extreme grips do this, not just Nick Kyrgios. Often what we see is they'll actually wait with a grip closer to Eastern that gives them more options that they can do a little bit more with, especially when not having a lot of time. For example, it's really hard to take a ball out of the air as a, vo as a conventional volley with a semi-Western grip. It's nearly impossible to disguise or even hit a drop shot, and things like half volleys or blocking big serves back are all difficult to do if you're gonna wait with a full semi-Western grip and beyond. So by waiting with an Eastern grip, you have options, you have disguise, you can do a lot of things, especially when you don't have a lot of time. Now, the thing about it is, when you do have time, you can simply turn, change your grip over to semi-western, and continue to clobber that big top spin you have. A couple things to keep in mind when you're doing this is that you really want the opposite non-dominant hand to support the weight of the racket. Your right hand, your bottom grip that's holding the racket should be very loose on there. That's gonna allow you to make fast grip change using your opposite hand. This is also another reason to keep your non-dominant hand on the racket longer when you turn, because that non-dominant hand is helping assist with all those grip changes. So this is one of those things in tennis that you can really work on with just visualization. You can be sitting on the couch, watching TV or tennis, and just pick up your racket and kind of pretend you're waiting with that Eastern grip, and then practice changing to your semi-Western grip. Now in your mind, visualize a big serve coming in and practice redirecting, blocking that serve back. Maybe practice sneaking a drop shot in and then practice again, going all the way. What situations would you turn all the way to that semi-Western grip and rip top spin? But one great drill I like to do with my students and maybe you can have your coach or a friend do with you is stand about at the service line and what you want them to do is not tell you if they're gonna feed you a volley that you're gonna take out of the air or if they're gonna feed you a ground stroke. So you're gonna wait in your ready position, and when it comes in the air a little higher, you're just gonna turn and take it out of the air just as you are, and what you'll notice is when they feed you a ground stroke, you'll have a little bit more time. So you're gonna continue through that turn for a volley, change your grip the rest of the way over to a semi-western, and then hit your top spin. And then you wanna get it to where they don't tell you which one's coming, and they can just randomly feed, and you can handle these both with a more unified system of preparation. So if you're someone that's just used to waiting always on that big western forehand grip and just committing yourself to clobbering every ball, go ahead, give this a shot. Go out and try to wait closer to eastern or a more non-committal grip and see if this changes the way you perceive what you're able to do on a tennis court. And definitely, if you're not understanding something in the video, leave a comment down below. And if you like the video, please like the video. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.